This is how I was able to obtain over $200,000 worth of real estate by the age of 21. You can see I am sitting in the backyard of my first rental property here in Dallas, Texas. You're probably asking yourself, how did this 21 year old come about purchasing over like $200,000 worth of real estate? Where well, it's pretty simple. When it comes to buying a property, I go, my personal experience, I go off three pillars, good credit, income, and capital. That's what I do. Other than that, just speak to the professionals. Talk. You need a lender, so you talk to your local lender, see what he can do, how much you can get pre-approved for, because you need a realtor that knows the area to purchase a rental property or a home. Before I even start talking about like how I was able to do this at 21, let this be like my YouTube intro, like who I am, where I grew up at, and just my life story. Born and raised in Dallas, Texas, up in North Dallas, Texas. I am 21 at the moment. I am also a media agency owner that sticks to real estate. So we do both photos, videos, all that type of good stuff that realtors need to market themselves. My three pillars basically are, I am a filmmaker, I am a media agency owner, and I am a real estate investor. As you can see, created my media company back in 2020 during peak pandemic. I, since I wasn't going to school, school because of the pandemic like no one was in school i took advantage of that time and i was like you know what i'm up. so i started off as a photography business like just photography but video is where i freaking love it i just love like you know seeing the raw footage editing it put into premiere and just creating videos creating content uh i'm prioritizing storytelling uh moving forward from now like i really want to like sharpen that skill for my youtube channel and for my agency so i work with companies that are like surround that surround real estate so for example brokers like real estate brokers of course realtors that's another big one roofers plumbers landscaping all the people that like work in that like niche that's where i create media and amplify the media to see growth when it comes to me i'm a filmmaker i'll shoot everything like i've shot it from baby showers i've shot weddings i've shot concerts i've shot mls i mean soccer games for the mls i have shot car photography i've done a lot of real estate videos of course i have done i've done a lot of things and i really want to push it now like there's no more hiding no more i'm really gonna like you know go a hundred percent and just follow my dreams because this has always been my dreams and was since i was like in middle school i know like being a youtuber being a content creator is kind of like a thing now but now nah, i've been on my way for years so i'm just you know what i saw myself you know putting them hours to the gym you'll lose weight putting them hours to the real estate you'll buy a house like this so what i did what i'm doing now is you know what i'm gonna stay consistent okay so i decided to record this in the texas heat and well my camera overheated so at this point uh it stopped recording for some reason it literally just shut down so i lost all that footage but like i was saying moving forward with the youtube channel and my agency i am going to concentrate to become more consistent for the last quarter of the year and of course moving forward 2023 2024 until i die <laughs> Um, damn, that was probably messed up to say, but whatever, moving forward. And this is why I decided to buy some real estate in the city of Dallas. I know rents are freaking crazy right now. Like a one bedroom goes for like $1,500. That's why I kind of like, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take advantage of that. Go buy a house and then be able to rent it out for like sixteen dollars to $2,000. Cause that, so the rents around this area are between sixteen dollars to as low as $1,600 up to $2,000 a month, which is great. What I did personally, I was able to build credit. I started my credit journey at the age of 18. By the time I turned 21, I had a over 700 PICO score. If you're wanting to invest in real estate, it doesn't matter how old you are, honestly. I'm 21. I bought over six figures worth. I started looking for a property before I even like reached the age to legally drink. And you don't need much. People are over saving. But on, let's say that I purchased the house for 200,000. I only had to pay 3% out of pocket. So what's two, two, so what's 3% of 200,000? That is just $6,000. Like, yeah, other than that, that's all I got to say for now. Stay tuned for the videos coming in the near future. Hope, hope you guys love this video.